Let's review the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is x equals to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. This is for solving quadratic equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. Uh, a is called the leading coefficient. We use the word leading coefficient is because x this, uh, the x has the highest power. That is the coefficient for the variable with the highest power square. So this, uh, the, since the highest power is square, we call this quadratic equation. If the highest power is one, we call that a linear equation. B is a coefficient and C is a constant. So you have that equals to zero. You want to find out what X equals to. You use quadratic formula. You might ask me, hey, can I just uh, factor the quadratic equation and then apply zero product property? Absolutely, yes. But not all the quadratic equations are factorable. If the quadratic equation cannot be factored, then use quadratic formula. All right, so do you see that there is a b squared minus 4ac inside the square root? This is called discriminant. So because we have a square root, remember that the square root of positive is positive, right? So the square root of uh, 9 is equal to 3. All right, the square root of negative is undefined. So the square root of negative 9 is undefined. The square root of 0 is equals to zero. So let's do a quick example. We have 2x squared minus 6x plus 3 equals to zero. Let's point out what a, b, and c are. So a is equals to 2, and then b is equals to not 6, negative 6. You take the sign with the number as well. And then c is equals to 3, and then the next step is simple. So all you have to do is you plug in, right? So you have x equals to negative b. Oh, before you do that, make sure you have all the terms on one side and then a zero on the other side. Okay, so you have negative b, so negative negative 6 plus or minus the square root of b squared negative 6 squared minus 4 times a times c, so I should do two, two instead, times c, and then divided by 2a, so which is 2 times a, a, a is equal to 2. All right, you have x equals to negative negative becomes a positive and then plus or minus square root you have a 36 minus 24. So two, this is a eight, eight times three is 24, 36 minus 24. You have a 12 and then let's erase this like extra piece and then we divide it by two times two is equals to four. And then uh, remember that the square root of 12 is equals to the square root of 3 times 4. The square root of 4 is equals to 2. So we have 2 root 3. All right. And then you have x equals to 6 plus or minus 2 times square root of 3 divided by 4. And then we can break this down into two fractions, which is x equals to 6 over 4 plus or minus. 2 over 4 square root of 3. We keep the square root on top. And then that brings me to what? x equals to 6 over 4 divide top and bottom by 2. You have 3 over 2 plus or minus. This becomes root 3 over 2. And then that has two solutions, right? So which is x equals to 3 over 2, 1 for the plus, and then 1 for the minus. 3 over 2 minus root 3 over 2. This is a root 3 over 2. So we have two solutions. All right, we have two solutions. Okay, and then uh, let's let's uh, play with the the, the negative a, a, a little bit. So let's say uh, we are trying to recall this. So let's recall that uh, the square root of positive is positive, right? So the square root of positive is equals to positive like the square root of 9 is equal to 3, all right? And then the square root of 0 is equal to 0, okay? How about the square root of negative? The square root of negative is undefined. So for example, the square root of negative 16 is not equal to 4 because 4 times 4 is not equal to negative 16. 
So this is uh, undefined. So what that means is when the discriminant is positive, for example, this 12, 12 is positive. So since we have a plus and a minus, then we have two solution. If the discriminant is zero, so let's say this is a zero, right? So this is a zero, then the square root of zero is equals to zero, then x is equals to six over four. If the discriminant is negative, so let's say this is a negative 12, then we have no solutions. Uh, I can do another quick examples for you. So let's say uh, what happened if c is equals to 10. So c is equals to 10. So we have a 2x squared minus 6x plus 10 equals to 0. Then we have a equals to 2, b equals to negative 6, and then c is equals to 10. All right. And then you plug it in to the quadratic formula. So negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared, negative 6 squared, minus 4 times 2 times 10. Since the c is so big, most likely this is going to be bigger than the square root of negative 6 divided by 2a. So you have 2 times 2. And then what you have here is x equals to 6 plus or minus the square root of, let's write this out, this is a 36 minus 80, so negative, right, divided by 4, and then what what, what do you have? Let's bring, bring it up. What do we have? We have x equals to 6 plus or minus the square root of, uh, this will be a negative 44 divided by 4, so we have the square root of negative 44, this is undefined, so what that means is the equation has no solutions. So no solutions. We can't find any answers for x. All right. And then and another what if. So and another what if. So what if you have x equals to 6 plus or minus the square root of 0 over 4. Then it's simple. Then this is 6 plus or minus 0 equals to 4. So 0 plus 0 minus 0, the top is always 6, then you have x equals to 6 over 4. So this will be one solution. All right, so that is a quick review to quadratic formula, and that is also the end of this video. Stay tuned for more new videos coming up. Signing out.